good morning everyone so uh, i welcome everyone for the day for ftp that is uh, ai city sponsored under ftp on today's uh, session so today's session i will be, I will be uh, requesting our professor niranjan sir to welcome the resource person and i request uh, niranjan sir to take over the session Thank you, Navin sir. Good morning, everyone. It's a great pleasure for me to welcome and introduce our today's speaker, Mr. Mahesh B R Pandey, the founder and CEO of Vidify Technologies Private Limited, Bangalore. Mr. Mahesh B R holds a B in C S uh, from S I T Tumkur. and master degree in software systems from birla institute of technology and science and presently a phd research scholar exploring means to reduce software defects using ai mr mahesh is a global thought leader mit uh, mit sloan alumnus mentor for startup senior executive and a hands on techie who can create energy and drive transformation within an enterprise mr mahesha has an insatiable hunger for learning and achieving his focus areas include artificial intelligence mdse rapid application development and software defects reduction mr mahesha's experience spans across multiple domains including manufacturing automotive aerospace financial services media and entertainment education government it and pharma covigilance overall he is an inexhaustible source of ideas he has served in multiple roles for global customers of bosch infosys airbus capgemini in uk and india value labs and air is global he position in many key roles in his career such as technical architect saas consultant head of enterprise cloud center of excellence vice president senior vice president head of technology and architecture group founder and founder cto and ceo he was consultant to uk government technology strategy board and has helped uk business to adopt cloud computing technology although in his busy life schedule mr mahesha is very passionate about writing oil painting travel and also teaching he knows five different language including german and sanskrit today he is uh, going to uh, share his uh, valuable uh, knowledge and experience in blue ocean strategy a high level overview uh, over to you sir thank you thank you ranjan sir for a long introduction uh yeah um, basically i am a techy uh, and now i am running a business called rightify technologies and um, Uh, we are exploring many ways to innovate many ways to remain competitive in the market and uh, one such methodology is this uh, blue ocean um, strategy so just wherever possible i try to explain this to uh, who, what little i know about blue ocean strategy i try to spread word about it because it is something that is so fundamental for innovation and competitiveness it makes you think in a slightly different way so what has blue ocean strategy got to do with additive manufacturing so you might be wondering what is it like what look this looks like a management technique 
you guys are discussing something uh, more technical which is manufacturing process so what is the relationship see um, blue ocean red ocean these are some of the terms that you may have heard before this is uh, okay i i will directly share uh, take you through the uh, author's website i have a ppt deck which is uh, uh, which is made from a few resources online but uh, the most effective one is the author's uh, website they have a beautiful website i'll just show you i'm just showing sharing my screen okay now let me take you through this i hope you are able to see my screen yeah yes. okay so the website is blueoceanstrategy.com it is a brilliant website actually this is put together by the author i see we we are we are we are discussing this book this blue book here this is called as a blue ocean strategy this is the title of the book it is written by okay blue ocean strategy how to create uncontested market space and make the competition irrelevant see that is all we are going to talk about today so how to create a business and make it uncontested that means you are the only one in it there is no one else the competition becomes irrelevant that means you have not only defeated the competition you have made them almost useless so that is the uh, uh, objective of behind this strategy so this was uh, uh, written by two uh, management uh, professors um, and thinkers chan kim and rene maborn so these are the two authors who wrote this book so what is this uh, red and blue where does it come from red and blue see this is about let's say you have a business hotel business how many hotels are there let's say you go to a new place there is a new airport coming up in your area so in your uh, town and uh, you thought uh, opening a hotel is a nice idea so you try to open and you are successful in opening a hotel and uh, is that a new idea can people copy that idea how many hotels do you think will be there next to you within the next one year there'll be many 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 more right so there was nothing unique in your uh, idea and the competition caught on with you you have seen this in uh, traditional industries manufacturing is also not a uh, you know it is like a red ocean right you have red red represents fight blood so the idea behind this coloring is in the red ocean if you have a traditional red ocean industry the competition is too high all the competitors are fighting so there is blood on the in the in the area so that represents red fighting between competition for fighting for what survival and growth there are a lot of people in the red ocean whereas the blue ocean is a super cool place see we associate the color cool with you know sort of color blue with coolness right beautiful sky there is nobody you are the only one enjoying the market you are the only service provider there is no competition to this 
competitors will take a very long time to catch up if you are in a blue ocean see engineering education most of you are faculty of engineering education once upon a time it was a blue ocean right there are only a handful of engineering institutes it was very difficult to uh, uh, let's take example of even larger example university uh, earlier there were only government sponsored universities when the governments opened up the university for the private sector only birlas and tatas were able to invest in it because you needed a large space um, several hectares of space lot of money to build the massive infrastructure and hire expensive knowledgeable resources and have a library go through accreditation it was very very difficult so those who established initial universities they enjoyed the competition then what happened competition caught on people who have made money in real estate people who have made money in other ways black or white or whatever clay uh, colors of money between black and white everybody has a university now now there is one university i've seen it is just one building but it is a university it seems <laughs> okay so now it has become a red ocean how do you, uh, you know the, i even i can open a university if i have 200 crores and uh, maybe 10 acres of land and join the competition and fight for uh, a business and you know how the education industry is becoming uh, very tight and uh, you are not able to fill the seats uh, some courses nobody wants see that is a red ocean there is a cool blue ocean let's take an example ola ola taxi uh, when it came up it took the market by surprise right suddenly you know or the taxi culture started even middle class lower middle class were able to afford a taxi for a short ride from point a to point b that is a and nobody caught on with it who is ola's competitor we have uber and ola uh, do we have any shri raj taxi service which is competing with ola we don't see they they created a blue ocean and they are they are happily sailing in it uh, similarly reva reva has made electric cars they are the only ones making electric cars but uh, it did not pick up that's a different story similarly um <clears throat> apple apple introduced many products iphones of the world is there any competition yes now we have android and all but uh, within class characteristics of iphone or ipad that remains uh, in its own uh, unique uh, position similarly by juice they created online education and competition is now catching up with it but uh, they remained uh, the way they enjoyed their uh, competitive position for a very long time so that is the difference that is what we talk about blue ocean similarly additive manufacturing we are talking about additive manufacturing as a as a concept right now but if suddenly someone create puts up a 3d printer and start printing components automotive components what happens to many many automotive component uh, industries that are existing today they have to fight with this new person who already has technical advantage so they have to learn about additive manufacturing and then they have to invest heavily and then start fighting competing with the leader so until then this guy is enjoying the blue ocean alone and making the competition irrelevant so this is a technique that we talk about um today whenever we talk about something great this question comes up can you teach that greatness for example sachin tendulkar can you create another sachin tendulkar or 
a charismatic leader like Steve Jobs or uh, Kiran Majumdar Sh- Shah or Narayan Murthy or Ratan Tata, are these people born with some special thing or even, for example, Salman Khan or whoever it is, you take any example, are they born with that greatness or can anyone become that? So here also the same question, are red oceans, can they become blue? Can they do that? So that is the question. In the software industry, we always try to do that. So how many software uh, companies are there in Bangalore alone? Or in India, we have more than two lakh software companies. Yet, we, we, you know, we create one unique product and one innovative solution that make that creates a blue ocean and we will enjoy that competition until someone catches up so it is very common in the software and innovation driven industries so yes it is possible that's why the author says you can shift your organization from red to blue okay so like uh, so this is a management strategy so the idea is very simple create something which others cannot copy that is the simplest exact simplest explanation of blue ocean strategy you create something which others cannot copy and until they copy, they copy. you enjoy your um, competitive advantage so that is the introduction to uh, blue ocean uh, strategy. That is what we mean by um, uh, blue ocean, right? So that's the high level. Now, now, now let's uh, look at uh, a little, uh, a few details. What makes a blue ocean blue, and uh, how do you shift? How do you create a blue ocean? Um, but before that, uh, if you have any questions uh, about this concept, uh, please ask. And also, can you quote, uh, let's take three or four um, um, examples from you. What do you think is a blue ocean? Have you, now that you know what is a blue ocean, can you, can you quote your experience? Have you seen any blue oceans or do you have any examples of blue oceans? So I'm stopping sharing and shifting to the uh, meeting chat box. You can type your response here or you can um, uh, unmute yourself and uh, you can give an example. Let's take three examples. Three examples of blue ocean. Ocean that you have seen. Please give three, then I'll ask you a few and I'll ask you whether it is a red ocean industry or a blue ocean industry. Yeah, let's let's try to keep it interactive. It is boring for only one percent to talk. Okay. So what have you seen? Blue ocean. Look around. What industries you see? Large group of hotels. Sir, Amazon business, online business. Okay, Amazon online business. Okay. KFC. Okay. Okay, let's let's quickly discuss this Taj group of hotels. We have other things like we have Radisson Blue, which is a five star hotel. We have Leela Palace, which is a seven star hotel. Five star hotels are everywhere. If you go to uh, makemytrip.com and search for it, you don't get Taj group of hotels. <laughs> Many, many, many other things come up before Taj group of hotels. The competition has caught on. Earlier, Taj used to have uh, 
uh, hotels in very good locations where other people could not afford to buy uh, pres be present in that um, in that area yeah maybe for one or one to 10 years that group did enjoy blue ocean but right now it is a red ocean there are plenty of hotels the hotel occupancy is very low and uh, people are struggling that's why and i get uh, many many uh, once i somebody invited me uh, chitkara university for a course and they made me stay in a very posh hotel and that hotel is even now sending me emails offers after offers please come and stay so hotel industry is a red ocean there is what what else can you think of innovation in a hotel industry you have a property at a nice location you offer rooms you offer food accommodation and little uh, creature comforts gym spa and all those things anyone can do that and people are being doing doing that so this is not a strong example but uh, yeah once upon a time when they opened that uh, ocean facing uh, taj restaurant which was attacked by terrorists maybe they did enjoy uh, less competition amazon yes when they started amazon had a lot of ma massive uh, technical capacity they had the cloud so they opened up retail and yes that was only for a while then we have so many e-commerce websites and the competition is catching on flipkart our own they see competition you know, for amazon and there are so many regional regional competitions uh, baidu there are so many chinese competitions um, so that was also not a strong example of this kfc um, any eatery any hotel chain is not really blue ocean that is why we have mcdonald's KFC may have 100 or 2000 uh, um, branches all over the world, so does uh, McDonald's. Your local hotel is a competitor for KFC. Maybe in Mandia itself there are so many, you know, 15 different hotels that offer you fried chicken. Right? So this is not a, this is again not a blue ocean. Geo, Geo what? Geo, we have Airtel, we have BSNL. Before Geo came up, we had BSNL. So what Blue Ocean they created? They made, yeah, there is one element in Geo, which is nice. They gave everything free, which the others could not copy. That is why people, do, people don't understand that nothing is free. They are giving away free data to Geo. So this is also not a strong example. Yes, here comes Tesla. Tesla is a great example. Tesla car is so unique. Um, it's innovative. It is. It has. It is posh. It is. Uh, the competition is yet to catch up with uh, Tesla. Okay, so. Yeah, nice. So let's uh, continue. Let's look at what are the characteristics of a blue. What makes an industry a blue ocean? Okay. <clears throat> See, I don't have any PowerPoint presentation. Uh, I I do have, but uh, that is very very weak compared to the website of the author. Um, authors themselves so you might be wondering what is this resource person so lazy doesn't even have a slide deck of his own he's showing off a website but uh, I am introducing you to the one of the greatest resources on this topic they have everything here lots and lots of case studies if you want to teach blue ocean you can download their material of course they charge a small amount three dollars five dollars ten dollars uh, for their uh, hard work okay now what makes this blue ocean how do you how do you how do you create a blue ocean you have a business 
let's say you have a 3d printing business or a, or a manufacturing business how do you how do you change to a blue ocean they say there are three important things one is a perspective you should have that mindset of a blue ocean strategist okay this is very important um mindset roadmap confidence see again they're bringing the human element into uh, business see there are two truths two truths that we have to recognize so i'm popping up my notepad just to tell you there are two truths okay one is every business is is uh, sorry is a social business i don't mean whatsapp facebook and all when i say social i mean people can you name an industry without people absolutely not people are vital to every industry so any change that you want to bring in should involve changing the mindset of people okay second truth is every business every business is a digital business the technology is an is a vital element of every business of today so these are the two truths that you have to remember even your uh, additive manufacturing 3d printing is a social business you need people you need designers without them your nothing gets printed right so every business is digital business so is it additive manufacturing um is a digital business so the component the drawings are downloaded they are electronically transmitted the you know testing is done using a software uh, in the afternoon i am introducing you to additive manufacturing in aerospace industry because i was working for airbus for a while so i know uh, something about what airbus is doing uh, in this space so there i'll show you why 3d printing is a digital business and how much technology they use and software they use Uh, to create these components so that is that is why this third element is coming in confidence humanness you need confidence and the mindset what is what is the mindset of a blue ocean strategist how does he think usually when we when we think of opening uh, uh, an industry your parents and your well wishers they'll ask you what industry are opening you i say or there are already 1 million such industries right you tell, you just in the evening today just tell just make do an experiment with your friends and family you just tell them that you are leaving academics and you are opening a <laughs> kirana shop or something what do they tell you they tell you what there are millions of such things you won't be successful okay they are not negative thinkers they just love you so much that they don't want you to get into this red ocean and fight with other competitors but similarly you tell um, you know you say that you have a brilliant idea which no one has ever thought of they encourage you to go ahead right so the the blue ocean strategist should think of not competing there is a major we, what, what do these new businesses think about how do i defeat the competition a blue ocean strategy is does not even think about competition he in the sense that he will, he he thinks about not having competition that is the mindset you need so you should think i will create such an educational institute or such a hotel or such a such an industry where i am the only person providing that kind of service no one else can catch up with me it did happen right banks introduced atm city bank was the first bank that introduced atm for 2 years there are certain banks that went completely digital there are certain um, uh, even take the example of ola yeah completely uh, 
no one competed with them. So the blue ocean strategist is not afraid of competition because the service offering that he is creating will have such an element that competition cannot even catch up for a very, very long time. It can be simple things like, uh, you know, there are many, many things like what is the great uh, idea behind Baiju? If you think technically, there's nothing in it, right? It is just electronic way of and a simple animation to explain fundamental concepts. But that he's, he's very comp confident now, Baiju, like he has a billion dollar evaluation and he has so much investment coming in his way that even uh, the competition cannot uh, catch up with him. Fine, and then you should also have a roadmap. Why is this roadmap important? Because others are also trying to catch up with you. So you should have a very clear uh, idea. Whereas, you see, the Red Ocean, red, their, their market share decreases, right? Initially, they will have some market share, they do well, and then they can't, can't catch up with the competition. It comes down. You are seeing, of, you know, bookbinding, printing and bookbinding business. What happened? There were so many printing presses. Where are they now? Yeah, there are only few surviving now. See, they drastically took a hit. See, COVID, COVID made many, many things uh, close. All the, uh, most of the industries that relied on people coming together, such industries have collapsed. So what is your, you see, whereas this, look at this blue ocean, and it, it moves on from point A to point A to point A. See, this is this disruption, disruptive growth that the blue ocean brings in. So you should have a very clear roadmap. How do you, how, what are you doing today? What will you do tomorrow? Okay, today I'm here. I have a small manufacturing industry, okay? In, uh, in a remote part of uh, Karnataka where there is no competition. Now I'm going into 3D printing. Yes, that gives you a massive edge, okay? Then you should have a clear thing. I will 3D print automotive components like plastic filters, valves, and all those things. And then I will start printing aerospace components. And I'll become supplier to Airbus, Boeing, ISRO, and um, many other private aerospace companies. So this is how I will grow. So you should have a mindset, you should have a plan, and you should have confidence in your own plan and believe and invest in humans. Only then you can have your strategy. Okay? So, this, uh, there is a little bit of uh, more, like, here is a, a comparison of, uh, uh, this is the blue shift uh, that you are creating market. So, what does the blue ocean give to customers, right? The blue ocean products like Ola, they give high value to buyers. It's highly valuable, right? The service that they give compared to the difference. Yeah. And the cost is also low, relatively low. Only such such blue oceans survive. Isn't it? Then people will shift. That's what happened in the case of uh, Ola. When Ola came, it was compared to your uh, uh, average auto, it was different, right? It, it was a car. That itself is the differentiation. So the value went up auto to car, AC car. Auto was here, low and medium value. AC car is high value, right? And what is the... Uh, what is the uh, the cost? It was low. Yeah, it is expensive than an auto. But for a, earlier, what was our, how we were using hiring taxis? I remember uh, if you wanted to go for a trip somewhere, you go to a taxi wala and house. He says minimum two fifty kilometers you have to pay, even though your visit is only hundred kilometers up and down. 
you have to pay to 50 kilometers and if you when you come back it is if it is evening late evening you have to pay driver bata extra 300 rupees right and no questions asked you can't choose the vehicle okay minimum 8 hours even now we have taxis like that 8 hours 80 kilometers 6 hours 60 kilometers There's so many models that was the way in which if you wanted to go from uh, Mysore railway station to Gnanabharati campus that is four and a half kilometers or something you could not hire a taxi that's a different case in Mumbai and Kolkata you guys had a taxi culture we didn't so that's the shift it brought in right you call a cab how do you call a cab using an app just tap 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 here is your cab and pay only for how much ever you have used and that to so much clarity up front you know it takes you know it costs 153 rupees exactly you know and then you have the convenience of digital payment so all these are high add a lot of value right the value went up for the buyer for you and the cost came down See, cost is not, don't think of cost only as money. Everything has a cost. What is the cost in the olden days? What is the cost of booking a cab? First of all, I have to leave my house and walk to the cab wala. Or pick my phone and call him. Say, hey, Raju Vaiya, mujhe Pune jana hai. Are you free? Oh, Balaga, nice, sir. We have only one cab. Take it or leave it. We have an uh, ambassador. That's it. How many people are you? You have seven. No, I have a five sitter. Yeah, all those. What is the cost of haggling? Okay, but yeah, kitna leg, kitna loge. Okay, 1300. Hey, kya re? We are not even talking about 100 kilometers. Kya baat kar rahe? 1300. Kyun? So, what is the cost of negotiation? What is the cost of you walking to their place or you making the call? And then um, is that 1,300 fixed? You don't know. Okay, it all depends on the meter. When does he switch on the meter? You don't know. Maybe he's living 20 kilometers away from your place. What if he switches on the meter when he starts from his home? Then there is an argument about mileage at the, you know, after the trip. He says, okay, sir, it is 156 kilometers. Then you will immediately question, why 156? I think it is only 120. What is the cost of all those things? Then payment. These taxi wallows, I remember, when you hire a taxi and uh, within one hour, Let's say it's you You guys leave with your family at 7 o'clock. It's a nice taxi, beautiful day, sunrise. You're leaving your city and going to a you know, waterfall somewhere. Not even 40, 40 kilometers, the taxi has crossed the city limit. He stops at a petrol bunk. <laughs> right? And then he says, ah, give me 500 rupees. Ah, give me 1,000 rupees. <laughs> you have to pay for the petrol. Maybe you're not even ready for it. You thought, let me enjoy the trip and, uh, you know, let me stop at an ATM at 4 o'clock, withdraw money, 1,600 rupees, and pay the taxi wala. But it is 8 o'clock in the morning. This taxi wala is asking you, give me 1,000 rupees for petrol. You may not even have. He doesn't even care whether you have or not. He says, yeah, give. Anyway, you need to give me 1,600. No, give 1,000 now. <laughs> Right? See, what is the cost of that? Cost cost of disturbance, your mental peace and all that. Ola fought all those things and gave you brilliant. You know, in most of these um, cases, when you catch an Ola, you will, have, you will speak to him only once. That too to give an OTP. That OTP is also a new feature. Earlier, when Ola used to come, you hardly had a conversation with a driver. Just get in, he will drive you, online payment, you will say thank you, driver says thank you, that's it. So, so much value 
at so little at compared to competition so little um so little uh, uh, cost see i i encourage i tell people in indian uh, uh, entrepreneur world that well, yeah you are a lucky you are in india because wherever you see you have a problem right we are so rich in problems if you are an innovator you need not worry are kya innovate karu that is not even a question for you in india wherever you see you see problems you see opportunity to innovate the second one is it is very easy to uh, you know uh, add value uh, in one sense if you are in the service industry just be polite that's all you will defeat half of the competition <laughs> there is so much rudeness in service whether it is bank or uh, you know government service or auto wala you know in the, uh, in the olden days we used to call auto with authority hey auto azare take me to you know majestic now no you have to bend down as a customer and ask bhaiya kaha ja rahe ho if you are a kind heart if you don't mind could you please take me to majestic <laughs> see in india if you are polite if you are in a service industry polite things that itself will help you defeat competition okay what is the take away message for us and lot of value and low air cost that is one of the characteristics of this blue ocean uh, strategies so if you can achieve that you will achieve this shift in blue ocean um, so 3d printed components at a low air cost that is why this is 3d printing is becoming going to become a blue ocean so get on to it leave your academic jobs and start industries which is not a bad thing okay the organizers will be wondering what is this guy <laughs> encouraging people to become entrepreneurs yes i do yeah so when you have the energy when you have the opportunity when you have the knowledge just uh, three or four of you get together and uh, set up an industry focusing on delivering high value at low cost then you will be creating this blue ocean right so we have seen this now how do you how do you shift how do you shift uh, from red to blue okay again these are the three uh, major things okay uh, what this book does is it will give you a lot of uh, techniques tools and techniques see so many tools and techniques okay red ocean blue ocean strategy first of all you should have a strategy then then this is very important value innovation okay strategy canvas four action framework errc grid six paths framework see so many three uh, you know, then then uh, see another thing is uh, let me let let's quickly talk about some of these things um value innovation is very important why value innovation is important obviously you have to provide higher value at lower cost isn't it that's what these two intersecting pyramids are telling you the upper pyramid the cost it is it has to come down and buyer value has to go up so the point where these two things interact that is where the value innovation is coming okay this is what the makers of ola sat and thought for a while how do i give super duper taxi service at a, a, at the cost of an auto okay there is a story of uh, uh, steve jobs uh, and uh, i think it's a samsung's somebody in samsung chief innovator or an executive or cto he one day walked into the office carrying a small piece of wood it seems so he gave that piece of wood to his team and asked uh, give me a phone of this size a smartphone it should have all these features see he set an example this he he set an example very clear 
clarity. I need a mobile phone. It should have these, these, these features and its size should be this much. He th an executive needs <clears throat> earlier iPhone was making music uh, sorry, Apple was making music uh, uh, iPod was only music so then earlier their uh, uh, store was uh, iTunes was sending look at the name iTunes so it was only meant for music. Later on, they started delivering other digital products like lectures and books, audio books and all through iTunes. And they shifted from iPod to iPhone. So all while at the same time reducing cost and increasing buyer value. So innovation is at the center of your uh, uh, blue ocean strategy. Without value innovation, there is no blue ocean at all so so you have to innovate that's obvious and increase value decrease cost so that is the that is a major tool and this strategy canvas is a is a simple visual representation of uh, where you are you just uh, put uh, all the competing factors as uh, x on the x axis and offering level whether it should be high or low uh, on a on a graph like this uh, let me just google and show you a strategy uh, strategy canvas uh, blue ocean examples i'll show you there are a lot of examples uh, one let's pick up one you just you know you just do something like this um, Could zoom it up, I think. Let me pick. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Let's. Are you able to see this? See. Yes, see, see here. See. These are all the competing factors. Let's say you are making an a, a smartphone. So, what are the competing factors? Processor, screen size, how thin it should be, what should be the screen quality, battery life, camera, and memory usage. And uh, on the y-axis, you put whether it should be high or low, high or low. For example, this, uh, let's say you, there, there are one, two, three, three, three graphs. That means maybe three models. So in the one uh, model, first model, the blue one, the processor should be okay. Maybe uh, not a super duper processor. Uh, maybe it is, if it is okay, if it is at level two. But it should have a higher uh, uh, screen size. It should be super thin. It should be the thinnest. Okay. Then uh, screen quality should be okay. You are compromising screen quality and battery life also. You, okay, you can put a very bad, bad no, not a not so nice battery. Camera should be okay, normal quality, and SD memory storage should be the highest. So look at this blue one. So it is just. features with the value it's a visual way of uh, um, representing your uh, blue ocean for example let's say you're a university you are introducing a certificate course in artificial intelligence so uh, let's say the first factor is depth that depth need not be okay it need not go to the deep level it should stay it can stay it's a certificate course it can be at level two then quality sorry the next one is duration yeah duration should not be one week two week and all but at least eight weeks okay duration then quality oh quality should be pakka it should be very high okay then come down what should be the assignments number of assignments should be less and what should be the physical time in the classroom it can be less okay so i'm just giving you an example you put all the features offerings that you want to give to your customers 
and the level on the y axis and then you connect these dots okay ola cab um the color it doesn't matter the size okay two two models are enough uh, normal ola and uh, ola with uh, what is that said thinness and the camera quality okay so this is a strategy canvas this is how you build one if you have a strategy canvas it is very easy to explain it to people you just show it show them the picture and uh, it is uh, quite quite uh, quite easy to represent that's the strategy canvas okay then this is also important the four action framework <clears throat> there are these are four verbs there are four verbs let's say you don't know how to create value then this four action framework will uh, make you think about what that new value should be okay it'll last you i come here sit down i'll give you four directions okay then you, you think about it can you can you raise something let's take the same example of ola what can you raise in ola comfort comfort of booking comfort of riding comfort of paying so i'm raising all those things standards okay well above the industry standard you have to raise it above the industry what, okay before ola what was the industry standard auto how comfortable is an auto yeah for one person it is quite comfortable try taking a a, a dog in it many autos won't let the dog in or uh, rs uh, 50 kg rice bag three people then starts or maybe um, uh, husband wife and a three month old baby how comfortable it is right so so passenger comfort payment comfort um, booking comfort all these can be raised so the first verb asks you to look at the industry standard and then say okay can you raise about that is it possible in your education field okay you have um, all these standard courses can you raise about the industry industry okay why are you giving only be btech can you give an integrated uh, uh, course okay take the person in student in and let him go only after 8 years with an mphil degree why not can you do that can you raise the industry the quality of the teaching can you raise the quality of the exam can you raise there are so many things that you can raise in academic industry so this verb you are inside you are sitting here so one verb asks you to raise things think of those things which you can increase above the market second one create this should be the first one actually can you create something which the industry has never seen Uh, you can say ola itself is an example that's a macro level but micro level can you create which the industry has not seen if you look at the ola app it has so many things which the industry didn't have you know my place you just tick this address is picked up you can remember places you can assign your own label to your places uh, chachi's house you know uh, in las place all this yeah you can name and it remembers those are the values that you are creating then then the wallet that's a creation what factor should be created the industry has never offered yeah the comfort the core idea that's what you need to create then is there anything which you can reduce okay you raise certain things can you at the same time uh, reduce certain things okay there is one argument the moment you raise something something else comes down when you raise comfort discomfort comes down right yeah but uh, the same you you can think of price and all those things how can, can can you can you reduce the price can you reduce the size that's what the samsung uh, chief executive did right he gave a wooden block and said look reduce the phone size to this earlier um, you should look at the uh, <laughs> 
uh, first examples of mobile phone a very old mobile phone people did have mobile phones okay i'll i'll show you uh, not this there look at this phone this is a mobile phone yeah uh, there is a there is there is one uh, old old lady carrying mobile phone okay so there is a picture not this uh very early mobile phone I'm not a good at you must have by now yeah look at this yeah this is what i want to show you 1946 this lady is can what she is holding in the hand is this part okay so this is look at this carrying case this is a 1946 mobile phone we did have mobile back then if this is your mobile phone now people don't buy it obviously yeah look at this this how they reduced the size so there are many things you can reduce cost size wastage and then eliminate so there are certain factors in the industry which can be eliminated for example let's come to the ola example what can you eliminate in we are designing a service like ola what can you eliminate you can eliminate argument usually remember all your i don't know the age group of the participants i think uh, you are all probably between 26 and 40 or uh, in this age group maybe you have not taken hire taxis to go out of bangalore on trips but our generation we we used to have you know that was the only means if you wanted to visit malnad area uh, you know abbi falls and shringeri and all these places you had to come you know hire a cab from bangalore so argument was a common feature okay uh, even street vendors you know we argue uh, negotiate disagree like can you eliminate all this in 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 my software industry i am trying to eliminate this proposal phase you know how many proposals we write hey i need a hair cutting uh, you know, some hair cutting saloon wants an app my standard response nowadays is get lost <laughs> whoever asks for an app that is my standard response many people have asked me what you are a service provider do you want to be in the industry or what do you want to close and go home i keep telling look there are already 30 million apps don't make me write one this hair cutting saloon apps <laughs> in the past one year i have received so many requests because the corona introduced a new game and they had to survive and mobile hair cutting fellows came up and then other kind of apps that they uh, ask is uh, something something on wheels tailor on wheel so the idea is uh, four or five tailors uh, sit in a van and the van goes to the uh, person who needs tailoring then and there they do and the fitting and all these measurements and they they alter the blouse or whatever so, uh, <laughs> i keep another thing i keep telling is uh, 20% of your married life uh, goes in uh, visiting taking your wife to all uh, in this uh, alteration tailors <laughs> ये ड्रेस अल्टर करना है वो ड्रेस अल्टर करना है ओके सो दे इंट्रोड्यूस टेलर ऑन व्हील सो दे वर ट्राइंग टू एलिमिनेट द ट्रैवल दैट द कस्टमर हैड टू डू राइट ऑन द हैजल सो देयर मेनी थिंग्स यू कैन एलिमिनेट इन द सॉफ्टवेयर इंडस्ट्री आई वांट टू एलिमिनेट प्रपोजल्स क्या करें प्रपोजल आफ्टर प्रपोजल आफ्टर प्रपोजल्स वी राइट Uh, we typically start okay this is your problem this is our solution these are the benefits this is our cost these are our terms and conditions oh by the way we are the greatest software industry you can find okay deck banao 30 40 slides bhejo and you the customer will never even call you 
We do give love. Be a simple model. Okay, all right. This is what I want. Okay, fine. Okay. Self-help kiosk. I imagine that. Okay, I want this. I want this. I want this feature. This feature. Okay, there you go. This is the cost of the app. Yeah. So similarly, you can eliminate a lot of things in your academic industry. You can eliminate fee payment queues and all those things. Yeah. And bona fide certificates, character certificates. Are you guys still issuing character certificates? I used to become wild whenever. Uh, uh, I, used, I had to get one. Who is this college certifying my character? <laughs> I hope the, such things are eliminated by now. Okay. So when you raise something, reduce something, create something and eliminate something, the value goes up. That is the core, uh, core, core message here. So does it mean that there are only four, four verbs? No, no. These authors are suggesting giving you four actions. See, our tendency is this. When you get four, we want more. Uh, what? Only four. Uh, I know four others. There are eight. These four are not enough. There are at least 12. You give them 12, then, then the readers will say, what? 12? Uh, uh, who will do 12? Three or four should be enough. <laughs> that is the Indian mentality. That is why nobody can win with Indians. <laughs> okay. Argumentative Indian. Read that book. It's by Amartya Sain. It's a very nice uh, book. Okay. Four is not enough. There is something with six. Six parts. Okay. Six parts. So this is, head, this is a very clear. Uh, there are six uh, factors in any uh, industry uh, any any blue ocean that you want to create let's say you are you want to start a new um, 3d printing business so there are six factors that you have to think about one is the industry itself where is the industry heading okay so you have to take these six measures and compare yourself you are the creator of blue ocean and this is the competition so where is the industry heading according to the competition so where is the um, focus of the competition so the competition is spending a lot of time on fighting rivals if it is an ice cream shop he'll be always looking outside or if he is a uh, you know a belpuri gadi you know he'll be always you, you know uh, looking at the competition let's say there is one bail puri wala sending bail puri you take another bail puri card what happens immediately he'll come fighting with you right that is, but the the bail puri industry is open right in chaupati beach how many how many uh, bail puri gadis you need to serve customers in uh, chaupati beach maybe 20 so the industry is open but what is your competition thinking already three bail puri gadis are there what do what do they think when you enter do they think that are uh, this this beach can take 20 uh, belpuri gadis we are only 3 the fourth guy is coming in unko bhi uh, you know aane do do they think like that no they get on a fight with you right now what does the blue ocean fellow do he look at alternate industries all right belpuri is my um, catering chaupatti beach let me stand near a an intersection between Chaupatti Beach on the left side, on the right side, something nice, right? He is addressing two markets. One is the beach going market. The other one is train station market, something like that. Similarly, if you are 3D printing, why only automotive components? Why small things? Think of aerospace. See, many people don't even think about aerospace as an industry. They think, oh, they are flying things. They are expensive. Of course, yes, but they also need nuts and bolts. I know about an industry that supplies screws and nails to the aerospace industry. If you want nuts and bolts manufacturer lists Airbus as its components, you will laugh at him, right? What? You are selling to Airbus, is it? Yeah, of course. Uh, one of the privileges that I had was working for Airbus. 
I saw so many things, ordinary looking things go into an aeroplane. We think everything flies, no? We think, oh, it should be super duper and all. No, ordinary screws, 6M, 6mm screws. Oh, there are wooden components. I went crazy thinking, what? You guys use wood in the aeroplane? He said, yeah, of course. Wood is the best one here. He said, see, it is so, so lightweight. Balsa make wood. <laughs> yeah. So I'm sure that if, uh, if you have MJ Pasha timber industry, he'll be thinking of uh, providing plywood and small components and, uh, you know, beautiful turn legs for your staircase. I don't think you will think of aerospace industry, being a supplier to aerospace industry, right? So you have to widen your perspective when you think about your industry. Okay. The other, other factor is strategic group. There, there should be some, the core, uh, uh, which, which thinks on the strategy. Like even every industry is represented by a handful of strategic players. Uh, take aerospace, for example. It is dominated by two people, Airbus, Boeing. Airbus in the U Europe and Boeing in the USA. Okay. So like what is this comp this strategic group do? Competitors again focus on competition. Array this strategy. What is Airbus doing? What is Boeing doing? But a blue ocean fellow will look at other strategic groups. For example, in Pinya, Bangalore, how many aerospace industries are there? People think Pinya? That is what? Like classic volume for manufacturing industries. There are a million people out there. How many aerospace? Maybe one, zero. People will be shocked if I tell you that there are so many aerospace industries in Pinya. So if you have 3D printing business, you think of those strategic group, not just Airbus and Boeing. Okay. Similarly, buyer groups, again, um, your competition thinks of uh, buyers, Airbus and Boeing, how do I better serve them, okay? Here, Blue Ocean Flow will redefine the buyers. I, I just want to shift to another tool, yeah, non-customers, okay? Let me introduce this. The Blue Ocean Fellow thinks about non-customers. The typical mindset is to focus on the customer, right? Let's say somebody wants to introduce, um, again, a Belpuri Gadi, right? What does he think about? Who does he think about? He thinks about customers. Does he think about non That's the simplest way, right? So that is why this, this blue ocean encourages you to think about non-customers. See, what does a Belpuri Wala think? Okay, let me stand near a metro station. All metro passengers are my customers. Okay, fine, ask him, who are your non-customers? There's a mobile shop next to that uh, metro. Why does that mobile shop fellow does not come to you for Belpuri? So many people go uh, to get his mobile, uh, go to his mobile shop to replace the screen guard. Why are they not your customers? The mobile Boilpuri Wala should think like that. Why they are not? They are the unexplored part, right? He has not even explored. Let's say the Belpuri Gadi is situated. There is a metro station. There is a, there are three four mobile shops and an electrical shop and a sweet shop, and then behind you there is a jogger's park or walking park. So you should think about who are the, who are the, yes, you should explore. The, the number of people who visit the mobile shop to replace their screen guard is about 50 per day. Out of that 50, how many people eat Belpuri at my gadi? Zero. So how do I attract them? Can I have a tie-up with that uh, mobile wala? You tell them, Baya, whoever comes a screen guard, no, this ko me belpuri dunga fifty percent discount se. Ye batao. You you strike a deal with it.
Vanguard fellow replaces the screen and says, hey, because you have got the screen from me, you get Bailpuri there at 50% discount. Koi ek Bailpuri kaayega kya? 50% discount, you give it for the first plate. Wo kuch na kuch to kaayegi. Or give him a free samosa if he buys this one. See, you explore, strike a deal, you expand your customer base. So, Spark, ask them, you know, give this and give them something. They'll say, No, I have diabetes. Who doesn't in India? Nearly everyone is diabetic. <laughs> Still, people I see telling, Oh, I have sugar, I won't eat. My typical response is, Okay, then die. <laughs> Nothing happens. They take this sweet, but they nearly faint. Whenever I offer a piece of chicky or something, you know, people faint. No, 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 I have sugar. <laughs> okay, so they're the refusing type of customers. There are busy uh, commuters to your uh, uh, metro. And if you offer them Belpuri, they refuse. Why? Because they are busy. They want to catch this uh, train and go somewhere. Now, how do you attract these refusing type of customers? I give them a ready-made package. You tell them, look, sir, I know you're busy. You, you you create a product called as busy samosa, not busy. Busy in Kannada is hot. I'm telling you busy samosa. You know, you, 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 you pack them in a cute little package, one single samosa with, with a small box of chutney. It's all pre-packaged. No need to pack. It's all stacked up neatly, beautifully with a, with a branding busy samosa. Or call it as metro samosa, metro wale samosa. You tell them, sir, lelo, das rupai. And you price it in such a way that the transaction happens super quick. He gives one note and there's no change business. Don't, don't price your samosa as 13 rupees 65 paisa. Because that is going to increase the discomfort, decrease the comfort of buying. Okay. Price it at 10 rupees, one note, exchange, lelo, tech, box, lelo, jao. Maybe the refusing customers will, will become your new customers. And there are there is another non-customer you have to recognize, soon to be non-customer. That means he is eating pani puri from your gadi. But soon he is going to leave you. Q? Maybe he's bored with your product. Maybe there is another body puri gadi there with a tube light, green color tube light, orange color tube light and all. Maybe he's attracted by that. So think of those customers who are going to leave you. Why? Because you're going to lose an existing customer who is who, who likes you. A loyal customer is walking away. So you have to increase value. Think of people who are refusing to become your customers, the busy commuters. So try to do something for them. Pre-packaged samosa, you know, nicely branded. Executive samosa. Try selling an executive samosa. You tell me, you know, people will buy it just for the heck of it. Hey, I'm an executive. Yeah, I may be a second division clerk, but let me feel like an executive by having this executive samosa. Yeah. So. Con Explode customers. Think of those people who are not buying from you. Like those customers who visit that mobile phone to buy spare chargers. A leather jacket for the mobile. In you know, in n number of uh, earphones. I buy. Almost, you know, I feel tilted when one of my earphones doesn't work. <laughs> so I keep, I'm a regular visitor to that, but I never have Pani Puri. Okay. So if you buy 250 rupees, uh, you know, uh, earphone, if he gives me one, um, you know, one tomato puri or something. Okay. I'm not a fan of Pani Puri. I'm, I'm just taking an example. Okay. 
So this is how you think of non-customers. But most of us think about customers and how do I how do I how do I take care of them? Even as a college, you are thinking of students who are coming to you. You are not thinking of students who are not, who cannot even be your uh, uh, students. For example, I'll give you an example: retired senior citizens. You show me one engineering college thinking of retired senior citizens as their potential students. I don't think you're recognizing them as your students because you you make a lot of assumptions. Oh, they are retired. They don't want to learn. They will come and sleep in the class. Okay, it will take the, them half a day even to come. Most of them are disabled. They have a lot of diseases. They are not our market. Who said? I don't know. You you do an experiment, a survey, and find out. Okay, I'm just giving an example. So. Okay, so these are the non-customers. So I jumped from into non-customers from where? What were we discussing? The six paths framework. The 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 red ocean fellows they they focus on serving the existing buyer group, whereas the blue ocean fellow thinks of non-customers and he redefines the buyer group. Okay, that is the that is the power. When Ola came up, who all went? For example, Ude Desh Ka Aam Nagari, Udan scheme. Who all flew in that? Farmers, even beggars would have gone, I think, right? The society, the layer of the society who never even dreamt of taking an aircraft, they did. By the way, Udan is a, is a good example of uh, uh, innovative industry. Whoever created it, we should really appreciate them. Okay, so like this, identify many paths that might come across in your industry, and think about what traditional people do, the red wale, and you think differently, blue wala. Okay, so so these are this, there are many tools like this. See. Why are you telling him uh, three? But yeah, this I'll tell you. Fair process. This I have to tell you. Tata Nano. Let's take an example of Tata Nano. Tata Nano, is it a success or a failure? Can I take some uh, responses? Let me stop sharing for a while. Tata Nano. Hello, everyone sleeping? Uh, Nano is a big failure. Okay. Somewhat, somewhat. It is there because we see them. It is there. Kulkarni sir, your voice is breaking, but uh, I get your point. You are trying to say that it is a somewhat success, but let's look at the uh, basic definition. We basic definition of uh, Tata Nano. Yes, sir. When Nano was introduced. It was called as people's car. So they should have sold in crores. Crores. How many they have sold? Yeah, I agree. I agree. Less, than, agree. A, less than a lakh, right? So Tata Nano is a is a there is something called a fair process. Uh, you know, uh, uh, this is true in every experience. Take your example of academics. You want the student to have a fair, go through a fair process, right? For example, he'll come with his his uh, eligibility criteria and money. So you verify the eligibility criteria, accept his money, and take him as a student. Then you are taking him through a fair process, isn't it? What was your promise? That we will teach you 43 subjects over eight semesters. We will ensure that you learn we give you a learning environment and we will test your knowledge we will do corrections and tell you how much you have scored where you are lacking and what you should do and at the end of the eighth semester process right it is fair to the student isn't it this is a fair you mess up with this fair process and what happens it will you, you will go out of business 
what was your promise eight semester try teaching six only six semesters your college will close or try giving a, a uh a degree which is not recognized by ugc nobody will join your course or try not you know try giving everyone 90 plus percentage you know with reckless random valuation hey sabko pass kar do give everyone 48 out of 50 this some some colleges do internal assessment marks is always near 100% i keep telling them hey, why why do you do that you know one class one mark okay maximum 10 marks for the attendance you student you only calculate i i conducted uh, 39 classes you attended 20 therefore out of 10 you will get uh, you know 5.7 that's it and when i was studying this college sit i have great res- and i keep telling people this rank is not because of me because of the homework you made me uh, do they had a very simple uh, rule for the internal assessment they said we will cut okay and you introduce whacking as a service if someone doesn't do you know <laughs> you should really try you know introduce some kind of corporal punishment otherwise our kids don't learn okay he was a retired navy fellow he he made things internal assessment very very simple until then it was a very uh, confusing area you don't know how much you're going to score he said i'm going to conduct three tests okay i'll take the best two out of three okay and i'll give you the average as your internal assessment go see he introduced the process it was fair so i wrote, i used to write all three internal assessments and uh, trust the college that they'll take the two best processes sorry two best outcomes and give the average as my internal assessment and when i used to get recalculate yes exactly that is how it worked so if you this is the fair academic process even the pani puri wala has a fair process you say you will like yeah you did the way bail puri thoda uh, chino spice kam dalo okay what do you do he i think he octopus can be a very good pani puri vendor because eight eight hands it has even if it uses two hands to stand six hands it will have me to have one pani puri you should uh, look at the way he works how much he puts what he puts no regard but he has a mental process he took four puris crushed it he took a questionable container with zero strength yeah, it was flexible to crushed four puris yeah 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 wo yeah wo yeah wo dala what all he, you know my eyes was uh, shifting ye kya kar raha hai then he kuch uh, karke plastic spoon dal ke de diya see he has a fair process he mess up with that process you distract him the fair process goes for a toss i distracted his fair process got upset kya mila mujhe bel puri with high you know more sweet it was useless i threw half of it to the dustbin so tata nano is a fair process failure not many people look at it that way so let me just uh, share my presentation here uh, tata nano tata nano is a failure of process people if i tell you that people will say ye kya bol raha hai like uh when did i present it maybe third day build execution into strategy ah yeah tata nano are you able to see my screen i think yes, so let me open the ppt tata nano is a fair process failure it is a failure yeah there is a nice case study which you can uh, yeah and tata nano is a very famous case study every mba student writes or reads a tata nano case study okay 
Yeah. yeah. What was the promise of Katanano? They said, we will give you Yeah, what was this? They said, we will give you this beautiful car for one lakh rupees. Okay? And and it will be your uh, your uh, uh, they linked it to accidents of two-wheelers. They said, you need not take your two-wheeler. You can take your family in it. You can be safe. And it costs only one lakh, and we will give it to you on such and such a date. So the customers, most the, the initial booking of Tata Nano was uh, innumerable. Lots and lots of customers uh, lined up, queued up to book Tata Nano. So what was the fair process that they had in mind? Okay, this is a super duper car. I have deposited my um, hard-earned money, so I'm going to get one. So I'm, I can leave my scooter at home, take my family in it, and I'm also a car wala, owner of a car, right? So what happened? The product that they brought out, this, this is a glorified mouse. It looks like my mouse. Is, <laughs> this product was neither owner, neighbors and we, nor owner's pride. Okay, what they introduced had inadequate features. It was not at all a family car. Okay, then the price point, then they messed up with the price. Started at 1, then increased at 1.2, then increased at 1.5. The top end was uh, priced at 3 and a half lakhs. And you know what they did? Another thing, they introduced a brand new full featured car at the at the three Tiago at 3.2 lakhs or something, which is less than the top end Tata Nano model. They confused the buyer. Okay, so this car, no, it suffered. It suffered in highway. Suffered on muddy roads. It suffered. It could not climb inclined roads. So. What Tata did, they, they invested in advertisements. They invested in people and encouraged them to take Tata Nano to lay in Srinagar and uh, ray the, you know, all that uh, rugged places and prove that Tata Nano really works. And their positioning promotion of Tata Nano was a cheap car. That is how they, they positioned it. LLO saste me mil rai. But car owner, car is a family member. Okay. Yeah, it is. I have a small car. I call it Pill 2. And it is a it is a, my family member. I'm not going to sell that. So it is my private man. I talk to my car. You will think that I'm crazy. <laughs> if you call my car as cheap, you are hurting my uh, sentiment. And see, even BMW catches fire. There are BMWs that have completely caught fire by surprise and burnt out. But have you heard of it? No. But nearly everyone in India heard that a Tata Nano caught fire. One Tata Nano, two, one or two Tata Nano, for some reason they caught fire and it became a big news. Okay? And... Uh, the Tatas did not manage that uh, uh, incident very well. It shouldn't have been known outside. Or uh, they should have. Then they created some uh, advertisement telling even BMWs cut fire, and then they showed a BMW, and that made BMW angry. They, you know, they took Tatas. Uh, there was a fight. Not many people know about it, and then the Tat disappeared. So the Tata Nano is a failure. Because this fair process was disturbed, okay? There has to be some kind of you know, justice. People felt unjust. Imagine yourself in that uh, uh, buyer group. You put your hard-earned one lakh 
booked the car, waited so long. Then they changed the price. One eight lakh ko one and a half lakh kar diya. You waited and waited and waited and waited. Then uh, uh, your factory got closed in West Bengal. The chief minister of West Bengal planted rice in the place where uh, she was supposed to uh, grant the uh, space for your uh, Tata Nana factory. Then they moved across the state, you know, nation to Gujarat. Then by the time you got your Tata Nano, you know, your psychology, what must have, and then your product caught fire. It was told that you are buying a cheap car. Yeah. So this fair process. That there is a fair process and it is respected. You mess up with the fair process. And you will not show my slides my slides are useless they are just you know something that i put together text people say yes yeah, slide day those slide day those slide day i keep telling people look there is an ocean of knowledge out there in the website it says so go here fantastic uh, uh, work these guys have done and if you look at the teaching resources so many case studies there so many case studies amazing okay look at this all these fellows yeah these are all famous examples who have uh, you know used blue ocean strategy to create this See, comic relief, I have to talk about comic relief very quickly, one minute I'll take. Comic relief is a UK-based charity, okay? They used to um, uh, uh, struggle to raise uh, money. Who will give money to charity, you tell me? You yourself are in trouble so much. So what they did is, uh, they made it fun. They announced Comic Relief Day. Okay, March 15th. On March 15th every year, you just wear this funny nose and do silly stuff and share it with your loved ones. What all people you did, you know. They sold this funny nose. Look at that, that funny nose for one dollar, one pound. That's all. You can buy this funny nose anywhere you want. It's available all over the place. Okay? You just wear it and do one silly thing like falling on the ground or something and then post that video online and share it with your friends and family. That's all is the what they asked. It's unbelievable. Across the nation, people went crazy with this funny nose. Look at the variety of noses that they introduced. And people did stupider and stupider things. And they took selfies with this nose, posted even celebrities. And in the evening, they had a grand gala of musical events and all these things. This is the comic relief, Red Nose Day show. They introduce a TV show with this. And you know what? How much they have raised? Billions and billions and billions. Billions, actually. Red Nose Day uh, collection. If you look at the collection, it's, it's uh, um, in excess of a billion dollars. And it's consistently uh doing it okay comic relief uh, if you maybe in wikipedia you have i think um and it it became a global phenomena we have uh, comic relief in the us as well so when i was in uk i used to buy that comic relief i didn't do anything silly because i'm 
quite serious fellow actually <laughs> so uh, but it, it it is a great example of uh, um, blue ocean strategy successfully working see they involved the community and um, they innovated they created those red noses and the results were awesome okay so there are lots and lots of lots of examples out here yeah so there are teaching other teaching resources there are uh, um, there are many case studies many books uh, teaching modules um uh, see um, um if you if you want to introduce this as an elective course there is a guidance here how to do that and also this is a, the only resource you need is this uh, website okay so good luck to you so uh, teach entrepreneurship become entrepreneurs and uh, you know uh, innovation is the only way for successful entrepreneurship and long term success and uh, the only way to uh, be successful in the long run is to defeat your competition uh, or outgrow your competition and one way of outgrowing your competition is this blue ocean strategy so yeah sorry i took a little bit more time um, uh, so i'm going to stop uh, Uh, thank you. Thank you. Do you have any questions? Uh, I will take them now. On the chat window, we can see the questions here. Shall I read uh, the user? Let I, I'll pick it up. Let's. Uh, it's okay. Okay. See Tesla. Can we relate disruptive management with the uh, blue ocean strategy? I mean disruptive innovation. uh yes every blue ocean see every disruptive innovation may not create uh, a blue ocean but behind every blue ocean there is a disruptive innovation see all is a disruptive innovation so yes there is a strong relation between the two okay uh, nana is uh, seemed exactly opposite to executive samosa i i don't understand is that a question see ex okay No, sir, it yeah. was a reply for your question. <laughs> okay. Execute some more, sir. Just, you know, yeah, why not? Try it. It will be nice. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, yeah, one and a half hours, you can do only so much. You can give an introduction to Blue Ocean Strategy. But it's a simple book, but it changed. It brought in so much clarity into the whole thing. Uh, and it gave confidence to many people see there is a method to innovation so that itself is uh, quite awesome All right yeah any questions audience any questions would like to put if, if there are no questions so uh, we are having another session in the afternoon so they be yeah So I'll be talking about uh, uh, how aerospace, yeah, yes. how aerospace industry is uh, getting into 3D printing. So yeah. So we'll see you in the afternoon once again. So thank you very much, sir, for uh, giving us the innovation as uh, one of the tools for the this blue ocean uh, techniques. So I had a career. Heard you on uh, blue ocean strategies with uh, Dr. Verma sir also. and uh, dr uh, raj gopal sir also so uh, it was very informative so i thought for uh, our participants it will be also really informative and it will be helping them to understand and most of them are from the academics so they will be not knowing about uh, this blue ocean or red ocean technique so uh, i think uh, they have got some uh, information about this one thank you once again we will join you again okay. in the afternoon session thank you sir thank you participants uh, so i'll be posting the feedback link for you and uh, for uh, the uh, attendance also so we are having one more session in the morning so we'll be having it at 11:30 it is on human anatomical models using 3d printing by dr sampath kumar associate professor department of enc engineering 
Manipal Institute of Technology, Mahe Manipal. So, sir, you could also thank you. thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, sir. Anything, sir? So, we'll join again at 11.30. Thank you, everyone.